Nothing is spectacular. I was at the first Lefty Cool at Deus two years ago when they had 25 cars. I went to the second one at Bandidos and the third one at Modernica. This fourth one at Crafted is the best one so far. Spectacular environment, but ultimately it's all about the people and a lot of friendly, passionate Porsche people are here today. So uh, two thumbs up for L4. This place is totally out of control. I was lucky enough to be a part of uh, all four Luftgekult's starting from the beginning in Venice. And uh, that event was just a very small handful of cars. And now obviously there's hundreds of cars here and probably thousands of people. It's, it's amazing. Every year it gets bigger and bigger. The cars get better and better. fantastic. I've been to all but one of the Luthercult events. I've known Patrick Long for quite a while and through him got to know Howie and I'm a huge supporter of it. I've been around Porsches racing them professionally and amateurly for 40 plus years. One of the most significant Porsches um, that exists. But this is the 1951 Le Mans winner in class and the first major international victory for Porsche. This is Porsche that's won Le Mans more than any other mark. This is the first win right here. California is a Porsche market, LA is a Porsche town and it's full of passionate Porsche people. There's probably more Porsches, vintage Porsches in LA than any other city. It's a great driving city and it's just a great place to be with a Porsche. Here, 90% of the people, you ask them about their car, they know what motor's in it or what's been done to it or they have some story about it. That car over there, it's got a million miles on it. The special thing about air-cooled Porsches is it's the birth of the 911, it's intoxicating, they cover all the sensors, they look good, sound good, smell good, feel good, drive good, and every time you get behind the wheel it's a memorable moment. So that ultimately is what's great about early air-cooled Porsches. It's a thrill ride and no two rides are ever the same. The biggest thing that attracts people to air-cooled Porsches is the is the driver experience. The, it's kind of the unadulterated version of driving where, you know, it's analog. You're, you're feeling everything through the car. It's the sound, it's the feel, it's, uh, it's I'm, I'm not a, eloquent enough to, to put in words. For me and my father had a 356 when I was very young and some of my very first memories as a three-year-old were riding in the back of his 356A. So I think there's a different note or a different feel of an air-cooled car compared to the water, later water-cooled cars. I've driven all of them and I don't, I don't know how to put it into words, but I think everybody that's driven an air-cooled car um, gets it. <laughs> 